Now, when it comes to winning elections, there are not many like India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. From three back-to-back -back state election victories to two consecutive general elections, Prime Minister Modi has aced it all. And guess who needs some of his magic? Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Prime Minister Modi's image and videos are integral to his new election campaign in Israel. This, this report has more details. Modi, Modi, Modi. You've seen this before, for years. Now, watch this. The Modi mantra has reverberated through elections in India. Be it at the state level or at the national level. If there is one name, one face that has guaranteed success, it is that of Narendra Modi. That's why no matter who is the local candidate, the campaign is always mounted on him. And now, the Modi magic is traveling overseas, all the way out to West Asia, to Israel, where Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in desperate need of it. Because Israel is in the midst of an electoral stalemate. The last elections held in April didn't produce a convincing winner and Netanyahu couldn't cobble up a majority coalition to form a government. An unprecedented snap election is now set to take place on the 17th of September. Netanyahu had vowed to come back to power with a thumping majority, much like how his counterpart PM Modi did in the Indian election held in the month of May this year. He was one of the first to wish Modi after counting day. Lauding PM Modi's mandate, he had said, the election results further reaffirm your leadership of the world's largest democracy. Narendra, my friend, congratulations. What an enormous victory. I, I hope, Narendra, that we can see each other very soon, as soon as you form a government and as soon as we form a government. Well, thank you for, uh, for your uh, congratulations on my victory, but there's one difference. You don't need a coalition. I do. And there's a big difference. Netanyahu created history last week by becoming the longest serving Israeli Prime Minister. But at the moment, he is facing a tough political challenge. Opinion polls show flagging fortunes for his ruling Likud party. And to swing the pendulum back in his direction, Netanyahu is not just taking inspiration from Modi, but showcasing his personal rapport with Modi to attract votes. Modi has been featured prominently in Netanyahu's election campaign. A campaign video has clips of PM Modi along with Netanyahu. The clips are from PM Modi's visit to the country in 2017. It was the first standalone visit by any Indian Prime Minister to Israel. Since then, the India-Israel relationship has flourished. Great day. Historic day. Welcome, my friend. Even as the Chief Minister of the state of Gujarat, Mr. Modi engaged with Israel extensively. He used Israel's technological prowess to bring development to his state. And now the Israeli leader wants to harness Modi's electoral prowess. Also featuring in Netanyahu's campaign are US President Donald Trump as well as Russian President Vladimir Putin. The notable absentee is one Mr. Xi Jinping, the president of China. Netanyahu has been forming his Trump and Putin connect all along. What's new is how his PR strategy is now gravitating towards Modi and India. The bonhomie between Netanyahu and Modi has boosted Indo-Israel ties tremendously. From counter-terrorism to water management, the Modi regime has partnered with Israel on military, economic and strategic interests. Netanyahu is expected to visit India on the 9th of September a week before the all-important snap election. He had tried to meet Modi before the April polls too, but couldn't do it. And he is hoping now that this time around, the Modi magic will rub off and improve his electoral prospects. The report, we on World is One.